Hello, hello, D-Rock here. Welcome to the channel. I hope you all are well. Today I am on my Suzuki DR650 and I've just got on the dirt. So I rode up from Utah, or I should say I rode down from Utah into Northern Arizona. And what am I looking at? I think I've already got, I got about 130 something miles down today. And I took the asphalt all the way up to um, the Kaibab Lodge area, the North Kaibab Forest. This is kind of right before you get into the North Rim of the Grand Canyon National Park. So uh, I topped off, there's a little gas station right before you get in the actual National Park. I topped off my tank there, so I've got a range now of uh, Maserminas, 250 to 300 miles, so I'm good to go. My plan is to ride out to a viewpoint that I haven't been to in a very long time. It's called Point Sublime. It's just a fantastic viewpoint of the Grand Canyon from the North Rim side. Getting out there, however, can be, can be interesting. I haven't been out there in maybe 15 years. I don't know, it's just been a minute. And the road is um, interesting, what I remember it to be. I got out there in a two-wheel drive high clearance truck many, many years ago, but it does call for a high clearance four-wheel drive because it can get uh, can get pretty gnarly. I've never done it, of course, on a motorcycle. So I, there's a 50-50 chance I can get out to the viewpoint. Um, anything can happen. Trees can be down on the road. I, I just don't know. I, I don't remember much about it. So I'm just kind of taking it as it comes. And then you got to figure out how to get out there too because of my printed map that I brought with me right here of the Arizona Strip which includes some of the Grand Canyon here they don't even show the road anymore it's not even printed on the map to get out there so I know it's there because I've done it and uh, I just have to use um, a different way to get out there so my journey's begun on the dirt asphalt's over with for now if I make it I'm gonna make it to a viewpoint regardless hopefully what I'm gonna do is um, I'm at about 8,000 feet above it or right below it so it's going to get cold i'm in late september and it might be just above freezing out here i don't want to camp out here this is a solo moto camping trip by the way uh, i've got all the gear with me so what i want to do is hit the viewpoint then ride back out of the forest and get back down to the desert which is just below the forest or the kaibab national forest it's warmer down there it'll be a much more comfortable night it would be really cold up here tonight so yeah anyway that's the plan join me for the ride if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing it helps us out tremendously it's not wasting more time let's get to it yeah man it was almost cold riding up here today i left a little later in the morning but um yeah you ride up into the north kaibab forest and at one point you get almost to nine thousand feet it was chilly. I had to change my jacket. So until I get off this dirt road, it's pretty much hard packed gravel. Yeah, look at that. There's still standing water. Hmm. All right. Well, might get muddy. But uh, yeah, this this road will be fine. It's hard packed gravel. I can ride this in pouring rain. And I took Highway 67. That's the asphalt through the forest up to that little gas station and then I got on um, Forest Road 22 that that'll take you through the forest back down into Fredonia if you want but from that I'm on uh, Forest Road 270 now and at this point once I get down a little farther it's gonna get a uh, spider web of dirt roads they just break off everywhere but I need to get on the Kanabowitz, I think that's how I said it, Tower Road. There's a bunch of roads out here. Trick is finding the right one. I'm not in the National Park yet, but I will be crossing into it shortly, presumably. Beautiful fall day. Leaves are changing up here, it's nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna continue on. I don't want 223, so straight ahead on 270. 
gravelly. Bike's a little squirrely. I aired the tires up, not down, so I'll probably be a little squirrely through the ride today. Boy, no joke, huh? Got through. Oh, it gets pretty deep. I did bring a shovel, by the way. Give myself waypoints every so often because there is a uh, bunch of roads out here they just it would be easy to get lost this is another reason i put the big old 6.6 .6 gallon gas tank on the bike because you get lost you just end up riding around trying to figure out your way out so i've got a really good peace of mind knowing that i've got a 300 mile range on this tank right now and I brought extra gas and if I have to spend the night up here at this elevation I brought a zero degree sleeping bag so I'm good to go I think we're gonna be okay now we're just taking it easy for this ride out to the uh, the viewpoint because I don't know I haven't been on this road like I mentioned in many many years so I don't know what to expect So we're just gonna play cool, man. Nice and cool. Now there's multiple ways in and out. Oh, here's more water. Uh, to this viewpoint, you can actually get in from the park side. I'm coming in from the National Forest side, but you can enter through the National Park side, but I think that route is pretty gnarly. Like you definitely want a four wheel drive vehicle for that. I've never done it, so I had an acquaintance that did it many years ago, and he said it was it was pretty intense. All right, see, this is where you gotta gotta watch it. I mean, there's just there's roads branching off everywhere, and I just kind of want to stay on this main drag. I think I keep I'll have to keep referencing the. Is it a main drag? Or does it just end? I think it just ended. Whoa. Okay, well. I thought I was on a main drag. Wow. I got a backtrack. Missed it. Son of a gun. Okay, just so you understand how ridiculous this is. Here's 270 again. This is 270. This is 270 J. There's 270 N N 270 O 270 M 270 N 270 J. <laughs> Good lord. I need to be on 270 H. Oh, this is 270 J. Huh. I hope this actually runs in. This is this is a mess. Look at this. See this is what I'm talking about. You're not going anywhere down this. It's completely covered in, in deadfall. That's what I was talking about. And the game has begun. All right, well, I gotta go back out and figure another route because this doesn't work. Man, I got this all wrong. I gotta go all the way back out to the main drag, get on 223 and ride that down to 268B. 
Okay, well, I got a bit of a ride to do to get over. I, I don't know why I thought this was the way in. I guess I was looking at it wrong, so whatever. We've righted the ship once again. So I got a bit of a, actually it's probably not going to be that far a ride, but I will see you at 268B. All right, well, this is not looking good. So here's 268 and there's all this fire service road trucks and obviously they brought in some heavy machinery. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it. This might be completely washed out. I'll ride down there and see what's happening, but uh, uh, I'm not I'm not being positive about this. I don't think. Uh, They'd have all this out here if this road was open. This is definitely 268. BLM fire. I don't know what they're up to, but... Ah, man. I don't know. We'll find out, though. And that was about maybe 15, 20 minutes of riding to get here. Probably could have gone a little faster, but I was taking it easy on the road. So I'm I'm under the impression that the road might be towed up, and I don't even know if you can get out there. I I checked the uh, the website this morning to see if there's anything saying any type of road closures in the North Kaibab, and I didn't see anything. So maybe it's not. I don't know. All right, I want 268B. That's me right there. 268B. And it's marked with tape. Oh, man. Oh. I don't know. All right, so I see the tracks of uh, heavy machinery. So it's, it's heading this way. I wonder what's going on. We should be getting the boundary soon. Oh, yeah, I think just coming through here, carving up the road. rock wedge in there. It's making some noise, let me tell you. Here we are. This must be it. Grand Canyon National Park. There used to be a gate here a long, long time ago, folks. But that gate is gone. <laughs> Alright, well, we're on track. Canabo, Canabo Winnets. Oh my God, I can't even pronounce that. It's off to the left. Be prepared for self-rescue. Unmaintained road, four by four and high clearance, strongly recommended. Be prepared for downed trees. All right, well, there you have it, folks. We are heading in the right direction. mud. No, oh, this is alright. That bulldozer, you might be making my life easy. I'm okay with this. Another good thing about the weather today is we're not expecting high winds, so as I get in here, I should be able to get out without having to deal with a fallen tree. 
So that's one thing to be aware of as the sign clearly stated trees fall down all the time in the forest and uh, it would suck to come out here and have a tree fall down behind you and you can't get out I didn't strap the chainsaw on the bike today I should have geez hey how's it going yeah it's just me is this road passable to sublime oh really yeah it's pretty tore up huh Oh, okay. We're just getting it, pumping the road so we can get a fire engine. In, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So you'd say it's okay for me to continue on? Good. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, if it gets bad, I'll just turn back. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks. Overall, the road's not too bad. There are some interesting sections that normally wouldn't be a big deal, but when you get a bunch of crap strapped to the bike, it makes it a little, a little more challenging. Well, for me anyway. But other than that, it's, it's okay thus far. All right, well, here's the fun part. Oh, don't drop her. Ooh, yeah, that's the stuff. It's the stuff nightmares are made out of. All right. I kind of wish the Suzuki was a little slower in first. It's, uh, oh boy. Whew. Might have to do a sprocket change. Yike. Ah, oh, we got through that. Okay, well, at least I don't have to go up that on the way back. There is a section just like that. That uh, I will have to go up again, though. Oh, there's all kinds of good stuff to look forward to. Oh. All right. She's handling it okay. Dudes, we're almost halfway there. Oh, snap. This. Whoa. Okay. We'll have to remember that spot. Oh, man. It's all this stuff. Whoa. <sighs> Brutal. Whoa. I'm all over the place. Switch back to my other jacket. I'm roasting. Oh, this looks. Oh. Well. Hmm. I can't 
Can't believe I got up that. Holy moly. Woo! Ooh, look at these trees that came down. Wow, yeah. Oh man. It's a good day to work on balance. No doubt about that. Yeah, wow. There's some hogwa out here. All right. Well, now we're descending. Nah, this isn't bad. There's the canyon. Good news, folks. When it opens up like this, you know you're close. Oh, I think we're almost to Point Sublime. Here we are. I even got picnic tables out here. God bless them. Welcome to Point Sublime. Not a bad view, huh? That'll do. Work up an appetite. Nice. Not a bad place to have a sandwich, huh? Not bad indeed. All right, like I said earlier, there is camping here. You can camp here. There's a campground a little farther back up the road there. But I'm not going to camp here tonight. It's not that I don't uh, I don't want to. I do. I would like to. But I want a shorter ride tomorrow. And I want to knock out. Uh, I want to go take care of the, the gnarly road today while I'm feeling encouraged. <laughs> There's a couple sections that are just, whew. Anyway, I want to get that over with. And I want to have a short ride tomorrow. So uh, I worked four years at the north rim of the Grand Canyon. So I've had my time with the view of the canyon. It's nonetheless spectacular right now. But I don't need to camp here tonight. I, I'll be okay. But uh, one more look here before I get packed up and head back out the road. It feels nice here, but it'll get cool tonight. But I do want to get down to the lower desert for this evening. 
it'll just be it'll be nice so that's my plan and i'm gonna go ahead and head back up here and get the bike all taken care of all right now comes the fun at least i switched the jackets out i'll be a little cooler Awesome view. Now uh, we gotta get out of here. Got about three and a half hours of sunlight left. And uh, I think it took me about an hour went, uh, when I finally got on the correct road to get out here. So I've got a couple of, got a couple gnarly sections. However, uh, those couple of, most of the sections are descending, so that's good but uh, i do have one ascent at the end that is going to be uh good clean fun so i want to get all this over with to be honest with you and then uh, head on down to the, the lower desert and uh, have a chill evening so that's my plan don't particularly want to go through the middle of that Probably not very deep, but still, you don't know. Ooh, sun is dropping. I'll at least hopefully be out of this section before it gets dark. And then I'll continue moving down, down, down in elevation. It'll be cold up here tonight. It might be just above freezing or freezing, so I don't want to, I don't want any part of that. <laughs> I'm out of here, man. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. That's right. I remember this particular spot. Uh, you're going to slide right into it. <laughs> Come on. Ah. I gotta go up something like this at the end. Can't wait. Be duck walking it up. Whoa. You see? Oy, oy, oy. All right. Good job. graceful at all I'll let it slide whoa speaking of sliding I'm slipping and sliding everywhere Yeah, good, clean, fun. Whoa. Oh, boy. Oh. Come on. You're almost there. All right. Nicely done. Nicely done. Whoa. I just passed the bulldozer. So that's a good sign. I don't think I have much farther to go before I'm out of this. Actually, maybe the bulldozer smoothed out that bad section because uh, I hit it after I passed them. Wouldn't that be sweet? Boy, it's amazing. The sun gets below how quick it gets dark in here. Looks completely different than when I was coming through earlier. Come on. Ooh -wee. 
come on. You can do it. Nice. All right, signs. Ooh, Highway 67 that away. Row. Here's my four-wheel drive sign. Woo! All right. Pushing on through this, baby. Oh, all right. That's it, man. I am off of the gnarly road. Okay. Very nice. Whoa. What was it right here, Bubba? All right. I am back on... 223 and I'm gonna ride this back to 270 and that will connect me to Forest Road 22. Forest Road 22 will take me right on out of the forest and into the desert, into the warm weather. It's starting to get cold up here. I should have left my other jacket on, but uh, it's not too bad now. As soon as that sun drops, so with the temperature man let me tell you so it gets cold up here quick and i don't want no part of it so i'm gonna skedaddle on down to the desert get out of the forest so i'm not miserable that's all right man that was a great ride out of there i thoroughly enjoyed that all right this is it 22. have it this will take me to some warm weather I'm slowly making my way out of here, the forest, and I am almost numb. Let me tell you, I am cold. That sun doesn't have much, much longer hanging up there in the sky. I should be out of here before it completely drops, but let me tell you, it is cold in the forest, and I am glad I'm heading out of here. Oh, well, ain't much sun left. Man, I am freezing. So I'm about, well, I'm out of the forest now. I almost just pulled over and like put on the other jacket and the warm gloves and everything. Oh my God, I'm cold. <laughs> I just gotta get out of here and uh, it will be warmer, hopefully. Yeah, I can already feel the difference in temperature. God bless, it was freezing in there. Actually, we didn't miss the sunset. There it is. Oh man. Numb, let me tell you. It feels nice down here. I'm just getting further and further down. I can't take it. I am I'm numb. I'm freezing. I gotta change. Whew. Oh, the moon's up. Good lord. Is that Mount of the Kaibab National Forest? Whew. Whew. Oh my god. I'm numb. Woo! warm my hands the engine good lord i can't take it anymore i'm starting to starting to tremble it's colder than i thought i thought it'd be a little warmer down here but it's freezing that's a pretty sunset no doubt about that that's it man we're out out in the open all right, one thing I need to do is deal with the new headlight. Man, my headlight sucks. <laughs> Stock headlights, no bueno. Man, look at that sky. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. So I don't have far down the dirt road, just a few miles till I get to uh, an old campsite of mine. I've been camping out in this area of Arizona for 20 years. 
So I've got campsites all over the place out here. And one of the particular ones I like is out here. It's just uh, like I've been saying for the last few minutes anyway. <laughs> it's, it's out of the forest so it's warmer and um, you know it's closer to town. I mean I'm still remote. I'm still out here in the desert but uh, I won't have a long ride tomorrow when I get up, so that's kind of nice. Because today I think I've, uh, where am I at? 100 miles again, so it's 100. I'm well over 200 miles today. So that's not a bad day. That is a beautiful evening. Okay. There's my path. Man, I haven't been down here in a while. And we're here. Wow. Can't believe it. Found it. I think that's a bird. Sounds like a bird. Something comes running out of those trees at me. I'm probably going to scream. All right, got the water on. So I'm going to have a hot meal and then some hot tea. That's probably going to be the night. This is uh, this turned out exactly how I thought it would, which is good. So it's nice and cool out here. It's not cold. It's just cool. It's very tolerable. It's very comfortable. And this is going to be so much better than being up in the forest. It'd be freezing. And um, I'm just going to cold camp. I don't even need a fire. It's just that comfortable out here. Uh, so after I eat and have some tea, I'm going to crawl in the tent and chill, do some reading. It's, it was a long day. So I'm beat. I'm ready, ready to get all my gear off and chill. <laughs> all right, that's a wrap, folks. I am in the bag and I am nodding off. So I am exhausted. That's it for me. Awesome ride to Point Supply on the Grand Canyon. Riding out tomorrow will be no big deal, but we'll take a look at the canyon uh, that I'm camped next to. And there you have it. Great day. Great ride. We'll see you in the morning. D-Rock out. Buenas noches. Buenos dias. Uneventful night. No skinwalkers. It didn't get freezing cold, so that's awesome. Not quite sunrise yet. So I'm just going to take my time and get ready. Almost sunrise. I can walk out here. Oh yeah. Beautiful morning. So this is the lower desert. Forest is back up that way. Ooh, if I would have camped in there last night, it'd be painful this morning. It'd be freezing. It's tolerable down here. It's not bad at all, but uh, yeah, nice morning. So I'm gonna take my time packing up, let the sun come up, warm everything up for a bit, and then uh, I'm gonna hit the road. But first, let's go up and have a look.
Okay, she's packed up. It's time to roll. So let's get on down the road, shall we? Well, she started, that's good. All right, just gonna let her warm up a bit and then I'm out of here. So folks, there you have it, Point Sublime. North Rim of the Grand Canyon. Fantastic, interesting ride, to say the least. Definitely an interesting ride. Good, clean, fun, if there ever was that, for sure, folks. Uh, nice moto camp out in the uh, northern Arizona desert afterwards. I got a short ride back to St. George today, so it's going to be pretty chill on the highway after I get out of this desert here. That's it, man. It's a wrap, folks. As always, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe out there. We got lots more content on the way. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It helps us out tremendously. We'll see you next time and something to contemplate. Stay safe out there, folks. D-Rock out. Adios.